All out after the founder of Papa John's admitted to making a racial slur. The company has now evicted John Shatter from its headquarters in Kentucky. It also removed his image from all marketing materials and requested he stop making appearances. Schnatter came under pressure after media reports stated that he used a racial slur and graphic descriptions of violence against minorities. He acknowledged using the slur while saying it was in the context of a training exercise. Meanwhile, here at home, Morehouse College has yanked away the welcome mat from Papa John's Pizza. Yeah, the school voted to sever its ties with the company late last week. Fox News Angelique Proctor joins us now from the campus where students support the administration's decision. And Angelique, administrators tell you that students actually led this effort. That is right. Students have been extremely vocal on this issue. They are saying that racial insensitivity has absolutely no place here. I believe it was the right decision. Our cameras were there as the last Papa John's logo was covered at Morehouse College. The pizza giant has already gone dark on the Southwest Atlanta campus. It is difficult to even recognize the space where there once was the third largest takeout and delivery pizza company in the United States. Morehouse makes it clear the business is no longer welcomed here after the company's founder admitted using the N word during a conference call back in May. Racial slurs were not um, emblematic of the leadership or the values of Morehouse College. And as a result of that, we were committed to being in line and positioning um, the college on this matter. Morehouse took the bold and permanent step two days after Papa John's founder, John Snatter, resigned as chairman. The decisive move was initiated by students and applauded by alumni. Morehouse officials say the tweet announcing the closure has already gotten more support than any other position the college has taken in recent years. CEO and founder of the business who talks that way, come on now, I mean, it's a, a no-brainer. They, sh they should not have their business on this, on this campus. I think obviously that's a wise decision. Um, and it wasn't just moral students going there. There were Clark students and Spelman students. So um, it appeared to be making a good amount of money. Morehouse says it was time to renew the contract and the college opted out. They now plan to have a new vendor in the space by spring semester. To hear this, wow, I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed. And Morehouse students will have a big say in what happens next. There is already an electronic survey that they are filling out online. Reporting live from Morehouse College, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News.